Hi, welcome to Geography 1200, People, Place, and the Environment. My name is Peter Bush and I'm your instructor for this course. This is a welcome video. I hope you uh, get a chance to watch this and to read the syllabus. In this welcome video, I'm going to talk a little bit about the course, a little bit about myself, and things that you can expect in this course. To start off, I want to talk a little bit about myself, and then uh, it's always the easiest thing to talk about is yourself. Um, so, <clears throat> I'm a part-time instructor uh, for St. Mary's University Geography Department. I also have taught other physical geography courses for uh, St. Mary's. I also teach part-time for Dalhousie University in the planning school and as well for the School for Resource and Environmental Studies. But that's my part-time job. In the day, I work for the Department of Natural Resources. Uh, for the provincial government. I work in the forestry division and my title is a provincial landscape ecologist. So what do I do during the day? Well I work on things like old growth forests, I work on landscape planning, I do a lot of GIS, uh, that type of thing. Uh, so that's a little bit about me. Uh, why that's important uh, I guess for you is I'm a, I am a part-time professor which means I'm not around uh, the school or the university um, Monday to Friday, 9 to 5, just waiting anxiously for student emails to respond to them. So sometimes I'm actually out in the field, even out of email contact. So it's important to know that normally, even on an online course, you can expect um, kind of a two-day response to email. So that's a 48-hour notice um, that I will usually give you a response to your email. If I don't respond, in 48 hours, just send me a, a gentle reminder just saying, hi Professor Bush, I uh, just wanted to see if you had a chance to review my email. Uh, so that's how you get in, uh, in touch with me. So, sorry, my email uh, is listed on the course syllabus. It's uh, a non smu email. I just like using my Yahoo. It just makes me nice and uh, easy with my multiple devices and phones and things like that. So it's petergbush at yahoo.ca. Please don't email me through Brightspace. I probably will get it, but the Yahoo email is the best. Okay, I don't have a phone number or, or, or office hours. If you want to and need to get in touch with me, contact me by email. I'm, I do check that uh, as often as possible. Okay, great. So if 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 you ha have special requests, again, send me an email and I can respond. So that's enough about me. Uh, now about the course, geography. People place in the environment. So what can you expect? This is an environmental geography course. It's an introduction to environmental geography. Um, there's no prereq prerequisites for this. Um, but what you'll learn about is things about the physical environment. And in particular, you're going to learn about how humans have impacted or been impacted by the physical environment. So we're going to learn a lot about the atmosphere and the biosphere and the hydrosphere uh, and the solid earth itself and we're going to try to relate that to uh, some of the things and how it affects people and how people affect it. Okay? So that's a brief introduction. This is a total online course. There's no um, classroom meetings. There's no requirement for any online um, lectures. Everything is done through Brightspace, and uh, I'm organizing just one session uh, this year, one collaborate session, and it's optional. Again, optional. So I don't need any email saying I can't make it January uh, 5th for that collaborate session. So I'll just talk a little bit about, about that. Um, so I'm giving, so this is, you watch this uh, introductory video at the beginning, I'm giving, giving a interactive uh, collaborate session for those that have done online courses before. Um, you log in, there's instructions on the website on how to do that on uh, January 5th at 8 p.m. at night, uh, so late at night, and uh, there's a chance to ask questions directly to me, type them into the computer and I'll respond. Okay, that's January 5th collaborate session at 8 p.m. Thursday night, just uh, a few days from now. Okay. So, to prepare for that, all you need to do is read the syllabus and see if you have any questions and review the uh, Brightspace workspace. So a couple of things about the course. 
uh, I just want to let you know about um, the course textbook is um, Miller and Hackett. Um, I love this textbook because I was taught an introductory to environmental studies by the second author, uh, Dave Hackett, uh, at Nipissing University in Northern Ontario. Uh, so I have a great connection to him and to the textbook. I, I, I love this textbook. So you can, you can purchase it, um, a physical one, at the St. Mary's University, uh, edition four, or there is an opportunity to buy a e-version -ver e uh, I think it's definitely cheaper the e-version. Of course, that times out. It's like it's like like renting the book for six months or a year or something like that. Also, uh, there is only small changes to uh, the fourth edition. If you want the third edition, uh, that is acceptable. I wouldn't recommend earlier than that, in edition one or two. Um, but there might be some uh, threes used versions of edition three. Again. Um, the material has not changed significantly that it will impact you. Okay. The course I also utilize some uh, videos. So in preparation of that, try to make sure that some of these links work. If there's anyone um, from uh, outside of Canada, particularly China, some YouTube videos may or may not work. I will try to embed them. If you can't access these, uh, you need to let me know quickly. Not the day before the, the uh, assignments due. Speaking of assignments, we have assignments of course. So the course is divided into four types of evaluations. There are uh, assignments and activities um, for each module. The course is divided into six modules throughout the year and each module has a set of readings, a set of, uh, has an assignment, and also has discussion posts. So the first type of evaluation is assignments, um, six, one per module, um, worth um, six marks each. Uh, then each week there are discussion uh, posts for each module. And for those that haven't done discussion posts for online courses, this is my way to try to get some interaction in the, in the class, not only with you uh, and me, but more importantly between your classmates. This is why I find uh, online courses can be more uh, interactive than uh, the lecture hall course where there's oh three or four hundred people sitting in a classroom uh, lecture hall and uh, only the first uh, ten uh, people that sit in the front row are uh, speaking to the professor and interacting. Uh, this is a chance um, from the confines of your your office room like this uh, to make some discussion uh, with uh, friends in the course. So there's four posts per week. You need to do the four. You do one original post and then you respond to other people's uh, posts uh, three times. Uh, and then they need to be substantive, meaning your response to Joe's post can't be, yeah, Joe, I agree with you. That doesn't count. It needs to be about 100, 150 words. I've got some uh, statements in, in the syllabus. You can see about what it means to be substantial. Uh, and lastly, in terms of uh, evaluation for the course, we also have a midterm test and a final uh, exam. And those are all, again, done online on a specific day at uh, any time during that day for one or two hours. So how that works is you need to make sure that you have access on the date of the test or the final exam to a reliable computer in order to write the test in a quiet environment, okay? You can't say, uh, I start the test and then I got distracted by a roommate or the dog. Um, I have to take the dog out for 15 minutes. You need to sit down in a, a confined area so that you can write your test undisturbed for one hour uh, online somewhere, okay? So all of this is kind of in the syllabus. You need to review it and uh, dates, things like that. I'm not gonna go over them in the welcome video. But in a nutshell, that's what you can expect in this course. You're gonna, you're gonna you know, learn about the environment, you're gonna learn how it uh, impacts people. You're gonna learn about, um, and you're gonna do that learning or demonstrate that learning through assignments, uh, through discussion posts, and through tests. Okay, so I hope my goal at the end of this is that you become uh, more informed about the environment around you and how it impacts people and how people impact the environment 
and hopefully um, you'll become better environmentally educated uh, citizens. Whether you're commerce students, biology students, English majors, teachers, um, my hope is that you learn and understand more about the environment uh, in which uh, we live and breathe. Okay, so in the end, uh, that's my welcome. Uh, so welcome to the course. If you have questions, email me uh, and please attend the first collaborate and only collaborate session we have and that is uh, January 5th at 8 p.m. Uh, if you can't make it, don't worry about it. Uh, I will record it and it will be available for you to watch at another time. And in that session, I will go into more specific details about the modules and the assignments and the discussion posts and in particular the first module uh, which is uh, approximately two weeks uh, long. Okay guys, that's it. Welcome to Geography 1200. Take care, have a good night. Bye.